How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at series 21, Explore the Horizon in Forza Horizon 5. This begins this upcoming Thursday, if you're watching this a little bit later, that is May the 24th, 2023. We're going to go ahead and start with the series rewards. For 80 points, we have the Wuling Sunshine. This is the second time, I believe, that this car is returning as an exclusive. And for 160 points, we have the 2021 Audi RS7, which this is the first time this particular car is returning as an exclusive. You definitely want to sell that if you got that the first time that came up. Moving on to summer. For 20 points, we have the 2019 Deberti Ford Super Duty F250 Lariat Transformer. The reason it's called the Transformer is either side of the bed actually comes up completely and there's like tool chest underneath kind of interesting there this is a new to forza exclusive and for 40 points we have the porsche macan rally raid which is a wheel spin exclusive we're going to be getting overlanding or off-roading customization options with this update for a lot of the cars in the game i'm going to have a full list of those down in the description below They've also implemented a useful feature to help identify newly added parts. The last few times they've added wheel options, for example, into the game, it's been rather difficult to determine which ones were the new ones. But starting now, any new options in the customization menus are gonna be labeled what's gonna say new next to it. That's pretty cool, pretty useful. We're gonna have the opportunity to unlock two free cars in the upcoming series. All you gotta do to unlock it is log into the game at some point during the next series, which is May 25th all the way through June 22nd. You're going to be gifted an early look at both the 2021 Cupra Formentor VZ5 and the 2022 Cupra Tavascan Concept. Both of these cars are going to be added as auto show cars starting in Series 22 for 70,000 and 50,000 credits respectively. We're going to have two new to Forza cars added to the auto show. But if you want to drive them early, be sure to play the game next series. We're going to be getting eight temporary PR stunts back next series including four danger signs and four trailblazers. Be sure to complete them all if you haven't done them yet. In autumn, for 20 points, we have the 1986 Ford F-150 XLT Lariat, a new to Forza exclusive. And for 40 points, we have the number 44 Extreme E. It's the first time this particular car is returning as an exclusive. We've got a number of photo mode improvements, including the ability to alter the time of day and the weather, the ability to bring your character outside of the vehicle and position them around the vehicle in a variety of different positions, as long as your vehicle was stationary when you entered photo mode, the ability to have your character perform an emote that you have unlocked whilst they stand around your vehicle, the ability to alter your wheel tilt for better appearance, especially when drifting, so your steering angle, the ability to create, rename, and delete presets so you don't have to change every setting every time you want to take a photo. And finally, the ability to overlay guidelines to better center your image for various purposes. You can have a little overlay over the image that shows where the center is, that shows various different angles. If you take photos for certain applications, uh, you're going to understand the benefit of that. We also have some photo mode accolades that encourage you to utilize the various new photo mode features. Some of them can be done without the new features, but they're going to be a lot easier to do if you use the new features. In winter for 20 points, we have the 1972 Chevrolet K10 Custom, a new to Forza exclusive. And for 40 points, we have the Hot Wheels Rip Rod, which is a wheel spin exclusive, also available in the Hot Wheels expansion through the story. We're going to be having weekly Pathfinder challenges that require you to take on Pathfinder missions. Check out the game every week for three new accolades that will lead you to a treasure of 250,000 credits. I'm going to be making a community post every week that shows you the accolades, and I'll also be making a treasure hunt guide every week showing you how to do them. It's unclear whether you'll be able to do the Pathfinder accolades once the series ends, but we'll find that out in autumn if it lets us do the summer accolades once we get to autumn. If it doesn't, you're really going to want to make sure that you get these done, because not only is there going to be 250,000 credits in each treasure chest, for those means a million credits are going to be up to for grabs. There's also the 1953 Morris Minor Series 2 Traveler, the reward for completing all 12 Pathfinder accolades. This is the first time this particular car is returning as an exclusive. So if you missed that the first time it came out, you're definitely not going to want to miss it this time. In spring for 20 points, we have the 2022 GMC Hummer EV Pickup. This behemoth weighs over four tons. It should be kind of interesting to see if the upgrade or downgrade options for this will make it competitive in online racing. Regardless though, it will be perfect for the final week of the Pathfinder accolades. And for 40 points, we have the 1965 
Morris Mini Traveler. This is the first time this exclusive is returning as well. Those of you that couldn't get enough of the oval track last series will be excited to learn that a series of snappable asphalt pieces that can be used to create your own oval track have been added to the Event Lab props list. And for those photo enthusiasts not content with the photo mode updates, they've added a backdrop and some lights that you can add to an event lab to create a real life photo studio. The photo challenges every week will make us locate a different mini campsite hidden around the map. There's gonna be various farm animals with googly eyes that we're gonna have to take a photo of. Kind of interesting. I'm gonna be posting the location in the form of a community post every week of all of those challenges. So be sure to check it out shortly after season changeover every week. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video if it helped you out and subscribe with notifications on if you wanna see more content like this. I do seasonal PR stunt guides, which go live 30 minutes prior to season changeover each week. And I'm also working on PR stunt guides for all the PR stunts in the game, which will include the expansions as well. I'm also streaming Thursdays around noon central standard time for playlist completion. So definitely tune in if you'd like some assistance with your festival playlist every week. We host an open lobby. We can do events multiple times if enough people tune in. And everyone's welcome. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Y'all have a wonderful day.